Good morning, everyone, from an abandoned house in the sand hills. We came out here to cruise for hog noses and pine snakes, but it's just raining. So we're going to start the morning by flipping. Hopefully, turn something up and uh, wait for it to stop raining. So we're going to poke around here a little bit. There's a nice door to flip right here, a board. So we'll see. Well, since it's still raining, we've kind of switched locations. We're in this more Piedmont forest here, and I just flipped a little worm snake. First snake of the day. As you can see, the weather forecast just completely screwed us over today. It's just raining at this point. And uh, at least we turned up a snake, though. We're going to go flip 10 now and see if there's anything out up by me. So This is what a 7% chance of rain all day looks like in Georgia. Nailed it, meteorologist. This is the piece that's had stuff under it before. Not today. Oh, ring neck. Or red belly. That's a black red belly, isn't it? You want to grab it? Yeah, go for it. Very nice. So that this actually had a racer under it last time I flipped it. All right, guys, there we go. This is our second snake. Or I guess it's the yeah second snake of the day, right? Yeah, first one I've actually gotten on film flipped. We got a little worm snake at the last spot, but nice little black face red bellied snake. These are definitely one of my favorite fossorial snakes to turn up. And uh, this guy's beautiful. First one of these guys I've actually found at the spot, too, I think. Or definitely the first one in that stack of 10. It is just raining on us, so we're going to put this beautiful little red bellied snake back in his 10 stack. Enjoying yourself, Bob? Ah, I love it, man. So long. All day long shower. Seven percent chance of rain, ladies yep. and gentlemen. All right, guys. Bob just flipped our next herp of the day. A nice little marbled salamander. This is NC2 right there. Under a rock, way up, away from the flip lane down there. All right, guys. I was walking over here, and I was just telling Bob I never seen anything under bark here. Peeked behind this piece right here, and coiled up right there was this guy. Our first decent find of the day. A juvenile corn snake here. Oh, 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 brother, brother. <laughs> what is he doing, dude? I've never seen anything like that. You have a tooth stuck? Oh. <laughs> Anyways, this is the first corn I have found in habitat in this area. An area where I rarely see these guys at all. What an awesome way to end a slow day. Crazy. We're actually going to go cruise around in a little bit. This beautiful sunset. We're going to photograph this guy with that in the background and put him back in his tree. What a way to end the day. If we don't see anything on the road, at least. You can already see the, the lights kind of fading, but awesome. That's insane. What a way to end the day. A slow day, I might add, but a good one. Definitely now that this guy showed up. All right, buddy, it's time for us to hit the road. Back behind your bark. Love to see it. Here is our first find of the night. Not a snake, but a little male southern two-line salamander. Virginia. Do they get big Siri like this up by you? No, not at all. That's awesome. It's only a, I guess it makes sense, Sirigera. This is a good looking little male though. Pretty cool. Next find of the night is the coveted Eastern Newt Eft. Look at this little red man. Oh, what? Amphibian number two of the night. Got these guys at home, red Fs. Always love to see these guys. They're a little bit more colorful than their uh, fully grown uh, aquatic stage of their life. But good looking little Newt. We're gonna move him out of the road and see if we can get some snakes. These guys are definitely out in force tonight. And this one is like the biggest two-line salamander of all time. Look at those big Siri. These guys use those to drag across uh, surfaces and pick up pheromones. I don't know if we'll be able to see or not, but these guys actually have teeth that stick out of their jaw. Yeah, you can't really see this guy. It's called premaxillary teeth that they use to, are involved in the mating process somehow. Salamanders are wild. Anyways, good looking southern two-line with some big old 
danglies. Apparently, we're just not destined to find any more snakes tonight. However, another one of these guys, a little eastern nudeft, strutting his way across the road. Plenty of salamanders out tonight, and not really the usual suspects. Kind of a weird cast of two lions and newts. Are you coming at me, buddy? Hey. What's up, bro? That's my camera, brother. He was like, nah, dude. You guys. Is that, a, that might be a chorus frog up there. Right there? Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, we just cruised another two line. This one's a girl. The other two have been boys. And I'm assuming the boy will come following this girl here shortly. Well, guys, the snakes are clearly not having any part of this tonight. So we're probably going to call it here. Bob might end up sticking around another day. But if not, I will see you guys when I get out next. It was fun. No sooner had I run that outro, we come around a corner and there's a freaking ribbon snake feet from my driveway. And it's huge, a huge ribbon snake feed from my driveway. This is the fourth one of these I've ever seen in this county. And they've all been this year. Three of them have been this fall. Look who stuck around another day. <laughs> We're out here getting ready to hike some habitat, pull up a little tin. There's a nice green anole here. First herp of the day. He's actually huge for a green anole. There's a piece of tin right there I'm gonna flip. Anyways, slide it over here. I know it's gonna flip that tin. Nada. He is a super big green anole. Yeah, he's a big nice. meas. All right, guys, just got our first snake of the day. I was walking along this and turned over a piece of bark and another baby corn snake. This one is just as pretty, if not nicer, than the one yesterday. Crazy. Well, this isn't anything crazy, but at least we got a snake since Bob extended his stay. Nice little juvenile corn snake. It's still early in the day, too, so there's possibilities that this will not be the only thing we see. We'll find out. All right, guys, first snake of the day, not bad. Hopefully it isn't the last, but I mean, I've probably got enough to round off this video at this point. Two corn snakes. These guys are always a good find in North Georgia and especially the one yesterday. They're pretty common at this spot, but the one yesterday was at a spot where I do not see them at all. Actually, it was my first one I found there that wasn't on the road. Anyways, corn snake, first snake of the day. We're gonna let this guy go and keep hunting, see what else we can turn up. Stop that, I'm trying to put you back in your tree, dude. Right there. There you go. Go back to where you came from. And here we have in C2, baby corn snake number two. Pulled back a little piece and he was just sitting right there. Well, he looks almost identical to the other one. He's a little bit less colorful, I guess, and just a little cleaner, a little healthier looking. That other guy had a little bit of uh, a blemish on his head. This guy's impeccable though. Beautiful little corn snake. Second one of the day. All right, buddy. I get it. Go back to your tree. There you go. There you go. All right, guys. Bob just flipped this guy. This is a stellar little red salamander. I've seen a couple of these guys in this area, but they've never been this nice. This guy's absolutely glowing. All right, guys, here's a look at this little red salamander, freshly rinsed off, brought him down to the creek for a couple photos, and then we'll put him right back under his little piece of bark Bob found him under. But anyways, pretty cool. Only salamander we'll probably see today. This is Bob's first time seeing twerking lichen. Ooh, ooh, work it, ooh. Is it's it? an inverter, there's a bug in there. That they build crazy. like a little shell out of lichen and then twerk with it. A little bit more tin here. Getting kind of late in the day. I'm gonna have to call it here soon. Disappointing. What? There's a big cane break on top of that piece of tin over there. It's coiled too. It's huge. 
All right, guys, so I was walking up to this piece to flip it. I looked up, this is the main thing Bob kind of wanted to see today. He said, where's the best place we can go to look for a timber? And uh, I'd never actually seen one at this spot, but I knew they were pretty common here. I'd seen them nearby. And sure enough, sitting right there, a beautiful large adult timber rattlesnake. Look at this snake. Digesting a meal here in the late season, so that's probably why this snake is sitting out so exposed here in this open spot. Absolutely beautiful. I am super happy with how today's gone. It's gonna be a great way to end the video if we don't see anything else. All right, guys, so we've decided we're not even gonna flip this piece of tin. We're gonna to try to leave this snake as undisturbed as possible. She's been an absolute sweetheart letting us take pictures. Hasn't budged really, hasn't even rattled. So we're just gonna leave her right there. And I mean, what an awesome way to end the day if this ends up being the last find. And if not, so be it. But I mean, that's incredible. Big, beautiful timber rattlesnake here in North Georgia. She started to move a little bit. I don't know if she's going to go under this tin or what, but I'm just going to sit here and let her do her thing. She can go wherever she wants. We're not going to mess with her at all. So, absolutely beautiful. I'm guessing she's going to go under that piece right there. She's looking for a way under, I think. It seems like it'd be more efficient to be under there, really, because yeah. the tin's gonna warm up so fast to cook that meal. Did you just go under the tin? Yep. <laughs> yes! Worth the delayed flight. Oh, <laughs> I'll just censor it. <laughs> yeah, man, it was, that's what I wanted to see down here. I mean, there's a lot I want to see down here, but that was- that's Bob asked me for. last night about timbers. Yeah. I was like, we can try. How the hell did you see that? I almost stepped on it, dude. There's a basking smooth earth snake right here. Super weird. That's definitely a first. Well, this guy's definitely looking a little rough. He's kind of skinny and has he really looks like he needs a shed. So I'm just going to put him back and uh, let him continue basking while being an earth snake. What a weird thing to do, bro. So I walked up to this tree and spotted what looks like probably a corn snake shed on the side of it. Kind of neat to see. So just to show you guys that, that you can peel without destroying habitat, I uh, found multiple Scarlet Kings and just now got a corn snake and this one tree. It's a fallen tree right here in the woods, still here with Bob. And we just got this little guy in the same tree. And the key is to just, you don't rip the bark off the tree, you just peek behind it, pull it back enough to see in there. And that's how we got this guy. Well, we found a ridiculous amount of corn snakes in the last 48 hours for this part of Georgia. This spot we're at today, they're obviously pretty common, but that one yesterday was in a super rare area. And uh, I'm just, I'm genuinely surprised to see this many today even. They're all babies, which is cool. But I'll take it. Awesome. Look at this little grump. Anyways, corn snake number three for the day. Fourth one in this video. I'm just going to put him right back under his, oh, ow. I'm just going to put him right back under his bark. You gonna fight me or are you gonna go home? Slurp. Well guys, it looks like that's gonna be it for the day and for Bob's trip. He's got to catch a flight here in about, what, three hours? But we're a couple hours from the airport yeah. now. But anyways, it was a blast. Definitely. Anyways, I'm gonna wrap the video up here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Check out Bob's channel. I'll link it in the description. It'll be linked in some of the other videos too. So anyways, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next episode.